Are you calling for your resignation? That's the problem. If the voters ask you to resign, will you resign if the voters want to resign? If 142 people ask for me to resign, I'll resign. We are here today to say that if George Santos does not come to the voters, then the voters will come to Mr. Santos. And you don't get away with being the biggest fraud in modern American political history. And we will work day and night to hold you accountable. George Santos is a national story. He's a national embarrassment. We have never seen anything like this before. So we are looking to get Congress to expel. And the first step to do that is we need to have a united district. We need to go to Congress united. Our Republican leaders, our Democratic leaders need to join hands and say we are we want him to be resign, but if he won't resign, we want to be very clear, we will push to have Congress expel him. I find this story troubling because um, you know, we're doing everything we can to help our community and help those in need, and there are so many in need, and yet we just find ourselves being wronged by the people who are supposed to be lifting our community up and supposed to make a vow to protect us with integrity, and they're not doing that. And, you know, it takes the voice of so many kids who are just trying to learn about democracy and trying to exist in a world where they can make a difference and yet we run into stories like this and it derails our efforts and it's horrible and it's very disheartening. He took, he found a way and he made it work for him. At the end of the day he was elected, afforded the man the opportunity to see if he can deliver on the promises that he delivered. 142,000 people voted for him, right? They saw something about him they liked. This is him lying and running from his constituents. He says that he's not going to listen to the congressman telling him, I don't listen to politicians telling me to leave. He said, I'll listen to my 142 uh, constituents that voted for me. Well, he's not counting the people like me who did not vote for him and now all the people who did vote for him that no longer want him as their representative. So I would like to see him running with his pants on fire and out of, out of this country even. Maybe they should prosecute him in Brazil for the checks that he stole and the money that he was using that was not his.